What's going on everybody? I'm Mike with this old hot rod and today I'm working on the floor pan. So I'm gonna get right into it. Let's get right into it. I got my buddy Tim here behind the camera. He used to be a, a videographer back in the day and he's he got away from it a while ago. So he decided to come over today and give me a hand with some, some filming. Um, as you can see, I'm working on my templates. This is the RAM board. I buy this down at Home Depot, 100 foot roll. It's pretty cheap. Um, a lot of guys ask me where I get it and what it is. That's what it is. It's floor protection. And it works really good for templates. So what I'm working on is working on the passenger side floor pan. Originally, this car back in the day would have come with wooden floor pans. The floor pans would have gone up at an angle right here and would have gone across and then down the other side because you know it seems like people are taller these days and it's a hot rod now and I have the seats real sitting down real low kind of want to gain some leg room so what I'm doing is I'm moving the floorboard as far forward as I can go and then I'm gonna just build an extension off the bottom of the firewall. As far as new fabrication goes, this is kind of the last bit of the actual new fabrication on the car. I'll have some some work to do on the patch panels uh, down on the sides of the body of the car, but as far as new metal and building something from scratch, this is kind of it on the T, and I'm actually pretty excited about that. We had a little bit of a video blunder so we thought we were videotaping a few minutes ago, but it wasn't the case. So I, I'm kind of, looks like I've kind of skipped ahead a little bit, but that's really not, not how it is. I'm already doing pretty good. I'm happy with these two templates, and I think I'm going to get this one taped in place, and I'm going to jump right over to the path to the driver's side, and I'm going to get into making the driver's side panels. What I'm going to have to do is I'll add a flange on the bottom here where it comes out. I'll drill some holes, and I'll just rosette weld that together or TIG weld it um, but I'm happy with that at this point I may need to make a couple slight modifications to it once it's created in metal but I'm going to uh, get this all taped together in place and then it's going to sit here until I'm working on the driver's side now I don't know how much these flat heads move but that's that's about a half an inch gap around the back of the bell housing so and then I have to add one inch, add one inch here, one inch to here. I'll add an inch there, and that's pretty much it. So it'll come up this edge. So then I can attach this floor pan to the side of the body like that. And that's going to be my tow board. Just trimming this down a little bit. All right, driver's side. The hard part. This is going to be kind of tricky because it's around the pedals. I'm going to do the same thing I did on the passenger side. I'm going to build the floor piece first. And then work towards the, uh, get the firewall piece done now. All pretty straightforwards. A little tough to get in here because of the steering column, but there's really no way for me to get the steering column out without taking a whole lot of stuff apart. Five and a half inches.
I say it all the time. There's a, no right or wrong way to do certain things. You just you just got to do them. Just got to get out in the garage and do something. Figure it out. If you figure out if if you build it and it doesn't work, well, that means it's the wrong way to do it, I guess. Oh. And you just try to fix it. Yeah, this is just a tricky piece of a tricky piece to build. Still hitting. So once I get the shape I want and everything's fitting good and clear, like clearing, I'll tape it in place. My brake pedals, I'm pushing it down, but there's no fluid in it right now. It's just an open master cylinder. So it's actually going down further than it than it will once the brakes are pressurized. So I think that's pretty good. I'm gonna get that taped in place and then work on this next piece in front of the pedals. All right, so the next piece I'm doing is this is in front of the pedals and up underneath the steering column. It's really tough to get in here, obviously, as you can see. And uh, trying to get an idea on how tall this piece has to be. Around nine inches. Uh, you're, gonna need, you're gonna have to go to the chiropractor after this. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to draw a one inch line right here and my reasoning for that is I'm going to I'm going to break this line like that. So what I need to do is that line well in a perfect world it's supposed to go down there but oh it's not going to because of that. I can get this template pretty close. It doesn't have to be spot on exactly how I'm gonna need to build it. What I can do when I get it close, once everything's in place, I can just add masking tape to any areas that I need to fill in and then just make a mark and know that that masking tape is required for the panel. So I can write, you know, add metal here. I can draw on the masking tape where things need to get cut or bent. So, at least, like I said, getting this in place for the time being is, is kind of the key to keep the process moving forward. have to go from this point here roughly this point here so I'm gonna just go back to Mrs. Holloway's art class back in high school and a happy little line right there. Oh God.
Now what I'm going to do is just fold it on the edge of this firewall so I know where I need to break my metal. And once everything's in place, that should be it. I guess I'll draw that out real quick. I can't tape it in place. Then I won't be able to take it out. So let's get... So this has to go... There. Alright, well, I got full clearance with my pedals. I think I'm good. I know there's going to be some fine tuning. Like I said, once you turn it into metal, sometimes things just don't always work because the cardboard has a little bit of give, whereas the metal doesn't. But, I think I'm pretty good. Yep. With that, let me get some tape on it, get it taped in place. I'm gonna walk away from it for a little while. I like the metal fabrication part of things, especially sheet metal. And I always look forward to doing it because it's sometimes it's frustrating, but you definitely get a sense of joy once you see something like this turned into sheet metal. It's, it's definitely a sense of accomplishment with it. And you know that each piece of metal typically when you that you put on a car it just it looks that much more like a car each each piece of metal you put on it so to me that's that's a re rewarding part of the process I did that wrong I feel like something's off I did something wrong it's hard because this piece of cardboard on the Oop, that one died. Cardboard's curled. I don't know if there's any way I can get it out of there. Make tape like they used to, Tim. I don't know if this is exactly where it needs to be, but it'll at least be somewhat close. I feel like I need to make some adjustments at the top of this piece. I feel like it might be a little tall. Or maybe not. I think this piece is just a little bit tall, so it's being forced down. Now it's kind of interfering with the brake pedal, and it's really close to the bell housing. Before I go any further, I'm gonna basically do what I did on the passenger side was, well, now that it's in place, I can kind of fine tune things. Probably cut that off there. There's no reason to have this point sticking down. That's really not gonna serve any purpose. This will be covered anyways with the bell housing, with the, the cover that I'm going to make. And I, I think that's about it. I will end up, like I said, I'll end up making another panel to surround to go over and fill in this space next to the steering column. So that'll be a whole separate piece, probably just bolted in place. There's several holes for bolts to be put in there, so I'll probably make that just a bolt-in piece something so when the time comes if I if I have to remove the body and the steering column and everything I'll be able to remove that little panel and then take the steering column out and I won't be forced to cut anything in the future so uh, just try to think think ahead you know before you get too far into a project you really want to try to think ahead and try to think through things so you don't end up painting yourself into a corner in the future so that's what I think anyway 
Let's get this piece cut out again, taken out, modified, and then put back in for the last time. This is just a little too tall. Cut this down just a little bit. There. That's fitting better now that I cut it down a little bit. It's fitting a lot better. Pedals aren't interfering anymore. That's it. All right. That's the first phase of my floor template. So what I'll do, what I'll do next is I'll get this separate piece built out of sheet metal. I'll do this separate piece here. And then this front piece will be one piece of sheet metal. The, these two separate pieces will be one. And then once they're all said and done, everything's, I'm happy with it. I'll get everything drilled, punched, and then welded in place. And then that'll be it. All right guys. So. This is where I'm gonna leave off for today. Uh, I got my, my cardboard or my chipboard templates done. I'm happy with the way things laid out. My pedals are clearing. Uh, I will need to make an addi that additional panel for around the steering column in the future. But my next step is gonna be to get the cardboard templates turned into sheet metal. I'm gonna do these panels in three separate pieces. I'll do the passenger side, the, the flat floor pan in one little piece. I'll do the same thing on this side, on the driver's side. And then the entire front panel, I'll do on its own separate piece. Uh, and then when I'm happy with the way that they're fitting, I'll get everything, I'll get some holes punched. I'll either get them self-tapped or I'll get everything welded to the car. Once that sheet metal work is done, I'll, the next piece I'll focus on is around my bell housing. After that piece is done, I'll work on my transmission bump, or transmission bubble, transmission hump, whatever you want to call it. So, but that's gonna be the process. So after this is done, I'll have two more pieces to go. And after that, that's basically gonna be the remainder of the actual new sheet metal that I'm gonna to have to fabricate from scratch. I will have some panels to do on the lower portion of the car, like the bun panel down on the sides of the cowl. Uh, I'm looking forward to building those panels. I'm going to build all those myself, except for the bond panels. I do have those. I'm looking forward to getting those pieces done because then that'll be basically the remainder of the metal fabrication as far as the sheet metal goes. So I'm really looking forward to that. Uh, and then it's going to be time to get to work on the motor. So finish up the floor pans and then back time to get on the motor. All right, guys. So that's gonna wrap it up for me for today, this old hot rod. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell after you do that. Just let you guys know when I post up a new video. Uh, I wanna thank everybody again for going to Adelphi.com, buying the headlamp, the headlamp lights. They've been a big seller. Company just reached out to me the other day. I hit over, uh, it was $1,000 or $1,100 in sales. So thank you to everybody that spent their hard earned money on the headlamps. Uh, thank you to everyone who has purchased a uh, product from Yes Welder. I just received an email from them. Uh, said that my cooperation with their company is, is uh, very appreciated. And they actually just sent me another machine. I can't exactly tell you guys what that machine is yet because it's still in beta testing. And I'm part of that program, I guess you want to call it. So I'm really, really fortunate to, to be a, a member of the Yes Welder community. And I'm looking forward to spending some time with that machine and putting out some videos for you guys in the future so you can see what it's all about. And they've been good to me, so hopefully I can repay them for what they've done for me. Thanks, everyone. Thanks again, and uh, we'll see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.